All right, my beautiful people, it's Friday, and on Friday I do trade reviews. A trade review is quite simple. I hand pluck a trade from the real life trading community, and I discuss where that particular trader entered, exited, placed their stop, had their target on that particular trade, try to dissect and diagnose what they were thinking and why they got into the trade. It's a really helpful tool for you to become a massively proficiently profitable and consistent trader. So, here we go. What is up traders? I'm here with your Friday trade review and today we are going to be inspecting a trade for one of our newest members. This man's been posting charts like it's his job. My boy Martin D in the building. Let's go look at some setups that he had and talk about some trades that he looked at and traded. First and foremost, here is your boy Martin getting all up in some Starbucks action. So Starbucks, you will notice, right, you had the initial pop then pull back, run up, retrace. And so he got in here playing this double bottom. So his notes were, um, you know, shares just talking a little bit about the entry. And you can kind of see if you screenshot this, read this, this is just him kind of going through uh, his risk and the high, low, and the entry and all that kind of good stuff. And he banged himself out a winner. So if I scroll down to his stats on the day, just a very, very clean, very normal, uh, very simple, but very poignant realistically is martin said lost 0.14 on amd made 1.7 starbucks quiet day oh <laughs> legend snagging an r on the day between two trades batting 50 50 that's what i'm talking about so good so if we hop into starbucks here was the initial trade right so this is the five minute chart you'll see it retested and obviously martin didn't get in there although that would have been a really really cool entry i mean in hindsight pretty difficult to play, but you would have had to buy a pullback. If we turn the extended hours on, right, you can see the extended hours did actually pull back into those moving averages and pulled back into where a lot of stops are. So anyway, if you're playing that with the moving averages, you could have bought there, ridden it up and sold it. And that would have been a really nice trade. Uh, but either way, Martin was playing that pullback that occurred. So if I kind of come over here, you had this nice, obvious, gorgeous run up and then just a little, little consolidation. So this is what Martin saw when he was playing it. And you got that nice candle, looks like a double bottom. So here's that white candle. So he just kind of bought the pullback, bought into weakness here. And once that weakness came in, bloop, he got filled, chopped around, traded sideways. Really, really good volume spike. So that volume spike says, hey, something's about to happen. Be keeping an eye on it. So what Martin did at that point is probably starting to increase his stop loss. And then when we close bullishly above that volume, case in point, this candle and or this candle that's when martin knew that this was likely going to be a winner and he started holding on to the trade for it to run up into boop, prior resistance buy low sell high nicely done martin uh, i don't have his chart on amd right now but i can go look at amd and amd did sell off this morning <laughs> hashtag shocker so you got a little bit of a sell off on amd and then it just stabilized most of the day from 80 172 and just kind of chopped around in here so it depends on where you got in and where you bought and where you sold but if you were able to catch the ride down this morning that was obvious because that's been happening on amd um, 107 out of the last 133 days and you got a nice little double bottom here kind of a cute little run up nice little drawdown, and then just some chop so it wasn't much going on with amd unless you caught it early in the morning otherwise martin d well done. Let's all learn from Martin's trade review. Thanks so much for posting in our Slack channel, my dear friend. You are awesome. And also, I got to give a shout out to Kathy Hawkins while I'm here. She's been posting Dogecoin memes every single day for the last three months, and she is cracking me up. Congratulations, by the way, for anyone who is smoking some returns on Dogecoin. That is legitimately insane, incredible, amazing, and I love it. All right, folks. Well, that's it for me. Quick call to action for this stock review. If you are interested, hop over to a website called broke2woke.com. Season two, dropping now. Get yourself some knowledge. Let's learn together and become incredible people. You're amazing. And until next time, love life, love life, and trade. Bye. Bam. That's it. Your Friday trade review. Thank you for being a loyal real life trading subscriber to our YouTube channel. And if you're not, what are you doing? Smash that red subscribe button and click that bell. You rock.